everyone welcome back guys so today we're going to start a topic which is a very important branch of mathematics and the branch name is trigonometry so what exactly trigonometry is all about before i tell you about trigonometry i would like to tell you one thing that this topic is uh, important for exam point of view because you know i've seen a lot of questions uh, have come in recent previous exams so um We'll begin with trigonometry. What exactly is trigonometry? And and you can see right here we have a triangle with us, and the triangle is ABC. So you must have guessed that trigonometry is something related to, to our triangle. So we know a lot about triangle. That a triangle, you know, if I write its name, okay. So it is actually written as triangle. Now you you can see clearly that triangle has Two words, tri and angle. Tri means three, and angle. You know that these all these are angles. That means a triangle is a figure which has three angles. It also has one more name. It is also called as tribuj in Hindi. That means three means three, and buj means you know sides. So a triangle is a shape which has three sides as well as three angles. So uh, we know a lot about triangle. Apo आपको ट्राइंगल के बारे में काफी कुछ पता होगा कि ट्राइंगल्स कितने तरह के होते हैं ट्राइंगल्स कैन बी नो कैन बी कैन बी ऑफ थ्री टाइम्स फॉर एग्जांपल द ट्राइंगल व्हिच आई हैव विद अस इज एक्चुअली सेट टू बी अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो व्हाट इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल इज अ ट्राइंगल वेयर वन Of the angles is actually greater than is equal to 90 degree. So you can clearly see that here this angle is 90 degree. So uh, here where your angle is 90 degree, that uh, triangle is called as right angle triangle. We do have one more type of triangle. If if you know we have a triangle, if we have. Right. So here you can see that. This angle is actually not 90 degree, but it could be you know equal to, uh, greater than or smaller than 90 degree. When this angle is smaller than 90 degree, okay, uh, let's call this angle X, right? So if when X is equal to 90 degrees, this is called as right angle triangle. When X is smaller than 90 degrees, it is called as Acute angle triangle. Okay, so it is called as acute angled triangle. When x is greater than ninety degrees, it is called as obtuse angled triangle. Right. So we can categorize depending upon what what is the measurement or what is the measure of the Angle. We can actually categorize these uh, into these three triangles. One is right angle triangle. The other one is acute angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. Right. So these are the three types of triangles. Right. We know a lot about angles. We, uh, you perhaps have heard about, you know, different uh, theorems. Okay, related to the sides, related to angles. So till now we talked about. You know, अभी तक आपने समझा होगा कि कुछ ऐसी थ्योरम्स पढ़ी होगी जिसमें साइड्स के बारे में कुछ ऐसी थ्योरम्स पढ़ी होगी जिसमें एंगल्स के बारे में दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्रांच दैट इज टिग्नोमेट्री इज समथिंग बिटवीन साइड्स एंड एंगल्स सो इट एक्चुअली एस्टेब्लिश अ रिलेशन बिटवीन एंगल्स एंड साइड्स राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वॉट इज टिग्नोमेट्री इज समाइज वी रियली नीड दिस रिलेशनशिप ओके इट्स नॉट लाइक एंड वेन डू वी नीड इट वील डिस्कस दैट एप टू वर्ड्स But right now, what I know that okay, trigonometry is a branch for me. It is a branch which deals with the relation between sides and angles. Okay. But just keep this in your mind that trigonometry, the whole of the trigonometry, is only possible and is only applicable for right angle triangle. 
right? So right angle triangle here, for example, ABC is a right angle triangle where at least one angle should be 90 degrees. Okay. Now before we move forward and before we discuss what are the how can we develop these relationships and what are the relationships, I would like to tell you that when we talk about a triangle, right, a right angle triangle, we have given few names. Okay. So the longest side you can see out of these three, that is BC, is actually called as hypotenuse, right? I'm writing its name, hypotenuse, okay, right? So this is the name. So, so side BC is the hypotenuse in this triangle, right? And the one on which this triangle is, you know, uh, standing, okay, that is A, B is called as base, whereas the last side, okay, A, C. Now, you can clearly guess the name. Uh, you know what the line is called which actually forms an angle of 90 degree on any other line. It's called as perpendicular, yes. So, A, C is called as perpendicular. Right, so we got three names, hypotenuse is the longest one, then we have base on which the triangle is stranding and the third one is called as perpendicular. Right, so this actually kind of reminds me of one mathematician called as Pythagoras and he in fact gave one relation between these three sides. So Pythagoras uh, gave this theorem and it's called as popularly called as Pythagoras theorem, right, which says that Hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Right? We, we are not really need this. We really don't need this. But we, um, but I believe that you should know that uh, that one important theorem related to right angle triangle. Okay. But this is called as Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Right, guys. Now moving towards the relationships. Okay, so uh, there are basically three major relationships, and uh, the relationships between different uh, uh, sides and angles. So you can see that here we have three sides. Okay, one is perpendicular, one is base, and one is the hypotenuse. So at the time we're going to take two sides. We're going to take the ratios. Right. So if I take the ratio of perpendicular with hypotenuse okay this is actually one ratio which is called as sine theta clearly what is theta so theta is the angle that is being formed with the base right and uh, so this is a relation uh, between perpendicular and hypotenuse now you must be wondering why did we call it sine theta so it's just a name given to these ratios we could have given it any other name we could even call that Call it as you know akash theta, gagi theta, whatever, right? Similarly, the, the relation between base and hypotenuse is called as cos theta. The relation between perpendicular and base is called as tan theta. You can see that we have developed all the three relations. I mean, at time we have taken all the two possible sides, and these are called as trigonometric ratios. So just let me write it down here. These are called as trigonometric ratios. Why are they called as trigonometric ratios? Because they are the ratios and they come under the category trigonometry. All right. Now, um, most of the people know this, but you must be wondering how can I remember all these ratios, right, at once. Um, I, I would like to tell you the trick, but before that, let me tell you. That what if, if I don't want to write P at the top and H at the bottom? I want to make H as numerator and P as denominator. Can, can we do that? Can, can we have a relation between uh, H and P where H is at the top and P at the bottom? So yes, we can definitely have the relation, but we this is no longer sine theta. This relationship cannot return equal to sine theta because now it is 1 by sine theta. And we have introduced another term for this. And we call it call it called is a cosec theta. Yes, we call it as cosec theta, right? Similarly, when we talk about you know uh, by reversing h and b, we can have h by b, and this is called as sec theta. 
guys, right? And then we have cot theta, okay? So we can write it as b by p, and this is called as cot theta. So these are the three, these are the six trigonometric ratios uh, which develop relations between sides and the angle, okay? Now, how can we remember this actually? Can we, do we have a trick? Yes, we do have a trick. And the trick is uh, just to make you remind these three. Uh, because if you remember remi remember these three, you can easily write down these three. Right? Because these are just reverse of them. So the trick is, uh, just I'm going to just write it. This is a trick which I learned in my school. And I still remember this is one of the easiest tricks ever, ever, ever been told. So Pandit Badri Prasad. Har Har Bole. All right, guys, you can see clearly how interesting this is going to be. So, you see that Pandit, what you have to do first, write down sine cos 10, and then you just draw these three lines. And we're gonna start right for we're gonna fill this numerator part in all three. Okay, so on subsequently, kya karenge? P likhenge, P which stands for Pandit. B stands for Padri, Prasa again, B stands for Prasa. Uske baad na, you denominators likhenge. Denominators mein har, har, bole. Okay, so if I have to write it down once again, I can do that for you. Okay, it's not a big deal because this is how I remember it. So, Pandit, Padri, Prasad, Har, Har, Bole. Right? So this is a trick to remember all these six trigonometric ratios, right? So th these are the six trigonometric ratios where you can see that we have developed a relation between the angle and the sides of our triangle. Now, uh, theta is actually a general angle and it can have values. It can have any value, right? What are the possible values? It can have values starting from zero and it can go, uh, uh, you know, go to 90 degrees at max, right? Of course. We can even have greater than 90 degrees. Um, so uh, we actually have a lot of values, but there are a few standard values, okay, like 0, 30 degrees, 45, 60, 90 degrees. And now next we will see, we see that uh, how uh, can we, you know, understand, how can we remember the values of these six uh, trigonometric ratios. Um, at different angles, right? So, for example, if I have to find cos 30, I need to either I will give you a chart and you'll have to learn it, or else again I'm going to tell you a trick and you can easily write it, write down all the values within few seconds. Let's find out the uh, values of these trigonometric ratios at different values of theta. So, guys, now that like I said, that we are going to find out the value of these trigonometric ratios, that is sine, cos, and 10, uh, for different values of angles. For example, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Right, so we will begin with sine theta. Now, for this, for finding out the values of sine, cos, 10, what you only need is your hand, which is there with you always, right? So, uh, you need to take any of your hands, right? And then um, you have to use this trick, which I'm going to tell you. So this trick is actually called as palm trick, right? So this is called as palm trick. What you have to do is take any hand, right? And stretch all the fingers, right? In this way that you have these four fingers um, assigned, you know, um, with each other. Uh, four charo fingers up yes, or up thumb hai. Wo koshish kare ki 90 degrees banai. Right? You can see that this angle is 90 degrees. Right? Now, uh, uh, what is the next step? If, after you do this, after you keep your hand like this, agla step hai ki aap sari fingers ko ek value, theta ki koi value, koi angle assign kare ki. Form shuru kare ki, sakse niche uh, finger se, we're gonna start with the little finger. We are going to assign this finger, this tiny finger, 0 degrees, okay? So I have drawn a hand, 
right here. So what I'm talking about is that this finger. So you have to assign it zero degrees. Then okay, this will be assigned as 30 degrees. This finger will be assigned as 45 degrees. This finger 60 degrees and thumb will be assigned as 90 degrees. Right? So what you have to do, stretch your fingers and the thumb in this way that you have all the four fingers with each other and thumb makes an angle of 90 degrees with these fingers. Our fingers. So first we are going to find with what sine theta. So for sine theta the formula is very simple. What is the formula for sine theta? Whatever angle you have, you have to count uh, we you have to count top fingers and you have to find out the root of that. What are top fingers? I'm just uh, telling you in a minute. But before that, let me tell you the formula and you have to divide this whole by two. Right? So what you have to do, take this this palm. Now let's say you have to find the value of sine zero. So which is the zero degree finger? This one, tiny one, right? You have to hold this, right? And then you have to find, okay, also now this, this is for not to find sine, but for cos, we have to, for sine theta, it's actually the bottom fingers, not the top fingers. So just make, I, I'm going to make a little correction here. This is the bottom fingers. This is not the top fingers, okay? So uh, you have to curl uh, that finger, Right? And then you have to find count the number of fingers below that one, below the one which is curled. So you see that there is there are no fingers which are curled, which are there below the curled one. So here the answer will be 0, under root 0 by 2. And you know that under root 0 is 0 again. You have to divide, if you divide it by 2, you're going to get 0. So what is the value of sine 0 degrees? It is 0 again. Okay, so sine 0 is 0. Now let's do the next one. Let's find out the value of sine 30. So you see that this is the 30 degree finger. You have to fold it. When you fold this, you see that at bottom you have just one finger at the bottom of this curl one. Okay, so what the what your formula says that you have to count the number of fingers, you have to write it here the count. So root one, right? It is going to have root one and root one divided by two. Right? So root 1 divided by 2, I am writing it here, root 1 divided by 2, it is just 1 by 2, right, what is the value, you got the value 1 by 2, okay, next is 45, so 45 is that middle figure, you just have to curl it and you see that number of figures at the bottom is R2, right, so it, it means that we have, will be having root 2 by 2, and we know that root 2 by 2, we can actually cancel root 2 by 2 and we will have 1 by root 2. How can we cancel that? You know that root of something, uh, root 2 into root 2 is, is actually uh, root 2 multiplied by root 2 is 2. Right? So if you, uh, you can write 2 uh, always in the form of root 2 and root 2 and you're going to get 1 by root 2. Next is 60 degrees. Okay. So the finger for 60 degrees is this one. When you curl it, you see that there are three bot fingers at the bottom and the formula will become root 3 by 2, right? So, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously hoping you are getting the method, okay, this easy method. And the last one is 90 degrees. For that, you have to curl the thumb. Number of fingers at the bottom, down thumb is R4. Root 4 is 2 and when you divide 2 by 2, you are going to get 1. So, what is the value of sine 90? It's 1, right? So, this is for sine. So, this is the only formula you have to remember is under root of bottom fingers divided by 2. For cos, the, this is actually uh, just the reverse. Like I said that for cos it is, for cos theta, we will take top fingers. Top fingers and we will divide it by 2. Right? You can use the same hand. It doesn't matter whichever hand you use. We just need to, need to have a count on fingers. So, cos ke liye hum kya karne wale hai? Fingers ko jo degrees assigned thi, jo angles assigned thi, they are going to same. They are going to be same. Wo change nahi honne wale hai. To aap 0 degree ke liye jab us 0 degree wale finger ko curl karenge, to aap aapko top pe dekhna hai. Kitne fingers hai? 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to include that thumb also. So, 4. Root 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, cos 0 will be equal to 1. Right? Next is 30. Okay. 
So cos 30, right? Cos 30 that means you have to pull this ring finger. And when you do so, you see that at the top you have three fingers. So the formula will become root 3 by 2. Right? So this is root 3 by 2. And then we have to find cos 45. Interestingly, sin 45 and cos 45 will be equal because you actually curl the middle finger. And in that case, the number of fingers at the top and at the bottom are always equal. So it will be 2. So the answer is top fingers are 2. So root 2 by 2, that will be 1 by root 2. So cos 45 is 1 by then uh, cos 60, yes, cos 60 will be equal to root, uh, let's find it out, so this is cos 60, and how many fingers are there, just 1, so it will be 1, root two, root 1 is 1, so it will be 1 by, it will be 1 by 2, right, and last but not the least, you have cos 90 degrees, so when you do uh, curl this thumb, when you curl thumb, you will see that the top of the fingers are not so, the cost 90 is okay, 0. Right? Now, 10 ke values are not going to be able to do this. Or you can divide the sign because it is a trigonometric function which is related to the cost of the time and cost. Which says that 10 theta is equal to sin theta divided by cost theta. So, you can divide it and write it. Just like you can divide 0 and 1 divide it, you are going to get 0. 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 divide it, you will get 1 by root 3. चलिए हम लिखते जाते हैं और देखते हैं कि हम ट्रिक से करेंगे तो सही आंसर आता है नहीं। So zero divided by one is zero. One by two divided by root three by two ये मिलेगा हमें one by root three. One by root two one by root two से मिलेगा one. Root three by two अगर को हम one by two से डिवाइड करेंगे तो हमें मिलेगा root three. And one divided by zero is undefined. So it is actually undefined, or you can call it infinite. So uh, this way you can find out the value for 10, so for 10, or maybe you can use this trick. So the formula for using the trick is uh, you have to 10 theta, right? You just have to find out the top fingers, right? And sorry, the bottom fingers at the top and top fingers at the bottom and we have will take under root of it and this is going to give us the value for 10. Let's check it out. Okay, so 0 ke liye ye finger tha, isko curl karenge. So, dekhi, bottom mein 0 hai aur top mein 4 hai. So, 0 divided by 4 is, okay, it is 0. See, see liye, 10, 0, 0 gaya. 30 ke liye humne ring finger ko uh, uh, fold kiya. और देखिए तो बॉटम में वन है और टॉप में रूट टॉप में थ्री है जब इसका रूट लेंगे तो वन बाय रूट थ्री होगा जो कि बिल्कुल सही है कॉस टेन फोर्टी फाइव के लिए मिडिल फिंगर को कर्ल करेंगे और टॉप और बॉटम बराबर है इसलिए वो कैंसिल होके वी विल गेट वन एंड देन फॉर सिक्सटी डिग्रीज वी हैव टू कर्ल दिस इंडेक्स फिंगर जब इसको कर्ल करेंगे तो आप देखिए बॉटम में थ्री है टॉप पर वन है थ्री बाय वन का जब अंडर रूट लेंगे तो हमें मिलेगा रूट थ्री राइट and last but not least 1090. इसके लिए जब देखिए आप bottom में कितने हैं four हैं लेकिन top में zero है. Any number which is divided by zero will give us always undefined. Will be undefined, right? So this is actually called as palm trick, and this is a very easy and quick method to write down all the. So if if you don't, it's not like that. There are no other tricks. There are other tricks. For example. Uh, you can write down all, you can learn for sine. So, let's say you have learned the, uh, you know, values for sine 0, sine 30, sine 45, sine 60, and sine 90. Now, you see, for cos, you just have to reverse it. So, 1 which is coming for 90 will come for 1, 0, cos 0. Uh, root 3 by 2 which is coming for sine 60 will come for cos 30. And 45, for 45 it will same, be same. And then for the value of sine 30 will become uh, cos 60 and sine 0 will become cos 90. Just have to reverse the rule. Okay. And once again simply divide sine by cos and get 10 theta. Right. But this is actually a quickest method because if let's say I don't want the method I have told you just now is actually a lengthy method. You have to write all the values. But what if you don't need all the values? 
What if you just need one value, let's say cost 30. Now in that case you just need cost 30, you don't want to find all the other values. So what do you have to do? Simply palm trick use karke 30 degrees aapko pata, you just have to roll uh, that finger up and then you can easily find out by counting the number of top fingers. Okay, so guys, I really hope you understood our trigonometric functions, trigonometric, uh, sorry, trigonometric ratios and uh, the different measures of these trigonometric uh, ratios at different angles. Now, uh, this, this, this is actually a tool part which is over. Tool part पढ़ा जिसमें हमने ratios के बारे में पढ़ा, पर अपन ratios के use कहाँ होता है? Which is actually sometimes um, is is a, is actually considered a second chapter, but comes under trigonometry. तो अब हम वो शुरू करने वाले हैं और उसके बारे में हम पढ़ने वाले हैं. The topic is height and distance. Let's talk about